hi there welcome to our youtube channel if you're new welcome and if you're already a subscriber welcome back in this video we're going to be talking about the 10 easiest countries to get study visas for nigerians so let's get into it first what is a study visa so a study visa is a type of visa that grants you authorization to study in a foreign country what this means is you can be a citizen of one country and have the opportunity to study in another country as long as you have a study visa one thing you should note is that this video is based generally for nigerians so this video is going to be more useful for you if you're a nigerian and so we have done this video based on how many countries accept nigerians to study and also um, according to the cost according to the cost of living cost of tuition so let's get to so first of all where should a nigerian apply to for a study visa our first item on the list is the united kingdom so the united kingdom has some of the best universities in the world with a variety of courses and high standard of teaching the courses do tend to be shorter than in other countries, reducing your tuition fee strategically. What this means is the UK offers courses that are shorter than the duration of, of those same courses in other countries. Like for example, the regular master's in the US is for two years, but in the UK it is for one year. So apart from this reducing the amount of tuition you have to pay, it is also reducing your cost of living and at the same time reducing the amount of time that you have to spend in school so the united kingdom is a place for nigerians to study because they also year by year they have shown a track record of taking a lot of nigerians that apply to their school the only thing you have to consider is that based on the exchange rates uk schools tend to be expensive another place we will advise nigerians to apply to the study visa is Cyprus. So Cyprus is home to highly accredited universities. It has affordable living expenses compared to UK, US and Germany. Another thing you should note is that Cyprus does not require you to write your IELTS or your TOEFL. However, you will have to learn Turkish language to get by and it is not exactly the easiest thing to get a job. So Cyprus offers you affordable living expenses and you do not have to write your IELTS or your TOEFL but you will have to learn their language and it is not the easiest place to get a job so you have to consider all of this are you looking to stay there when you're done with school so if you are then you might not be place for you to apply to but if you are considering your expenses and if you don't want to write your IELTS then Cyprus is the place for you Another place you can apply to is the Netherlands. So Netherlands is home to famous icons and Amsterdam, Amsterdam is its capital city. So it has low cost of living, but there are restrictions on the work study options for international students. What this means, what this means is Netherlands gives you the option to work while you study. So you can work as a student, you can take a part-time job, but the only condition is you're allowed to work 10 hours a week. So as a student, you are not allowed to work more than 10 hours a week. So you have the option of making money as you study, but as a limited rate. Another thing you should know is 91% of them speak English, so there is no need to learn a second language. So you have the opportunity to get a job and start a business after graduation. So if all these things are on your list, if you want to work while you study, if you want to go to a place that 91% of them speak English, if you want to go to a place that you want to settle down when you're done with school, then Netherlands is the place for you. Next on our list is Norway. So if you meet certain standards, Norway provides free public tertiary education for both Norwegian and international students. What this means is Norway actually gives you access to free education. So if you are considering course, of course you have to meet certain standards, have to write certain exams, but Norway actually gives you free education 
However, private institutions charge tuition fees, but they are also significantly low. So if one of your biggest problems is cost of living or cost of tuition, then Norway is actually the place for you. But you need your TOEFL and your IELTS to apply. And Norway provides health insurance for all students. So once you become a student of a Norwegian university, you will get health insurance, but the place is very cold. So if you have issues removing from a hot climate, a cold climate, then you might have issues moving to Norway. Next on our list is Ireland. So Ireland offers international students up to two years post-study rights. Yes, you heard me right. But the tuition fees can be really expensive. So what this means is once you're done with school in a university, you get to stay in the country for up to two years. And so what this means is you get to get a job or, you know, start a business after your school. So that means you can even work towards your permanent residence, but tuition fees can be really expensive. So this option is one that we recommend for people that have the money to go. So you can work as a student, but you are expected to pay all the tuition fees before you apply for the visa. Also, IELTS is a standard requirement. So you have to write your IELTS and you need to have all the money for your tuition fee even before you apply for the visa. Next on our list is Finland. So Finland, most universities in Finland offer career services to international students after school and you, you can work while you study. So if you're big on having a job while you study, then you can go to Finland. And also know that Finland gives you access to get a job once you're done with school. And after working for four years, you get your access to permanent residency. But it is a very cold country. Next on our list is Turkey. So apart from tuition fees and cost of living being incredibly low, Turkey offers internship opportunities for international students. It is also a hub to businesses and this creates jobs for students during school and after graduation. So if you're looking to study business, fashion and hospitality, then Turkey is the place for you. The next on our list is Dubai. I know you know Dubai for the Burj Khalifa, but Dubai isn't great for only tourism. It is also one of the best places to stay. You don't need your IELTS or TOEFL to apply to school. The only thing you need to consider is Dubai can be expensive to live in, especially if you don't plan ahead for the cost of living. But if you want to study courses like architecture, business, engineering, hospitality, and tourism, then Dubai is definitely the place for you. The next on our list is France. So France lets you study and work, and the tuition fees are quite moderate. It has a multi-diverse society that welcomes international students. It is home to art, gallery, and of course, the best coffee. Scholarships are available to international students, but the cost of living is not cheap. So as we said concerning Dubai, if you are not ready to spend money on living expenses, then France is most likely not the best for you. Also, it is very wise to learn French before you go and while you are there because as long as you are there, you will have to communicate with certain people in French. Even if um, people then know English, it is also a very wise decision to learn French before you go. Last on our list for this video is New Zealand. So New Zealand is one of the most gorgeous countries on the earth and it is packed with history and culture. It offers a work study permit, so that means you can work while you study and it has highly ranked universities. It provides affordable tuition and living expenses compared to other European countries. There is no IELTS or TOEFL required and they offer excellent support to international students. So I hope this is helpful to you. If you are a Nigerian looking for where to study, then I hope this is good helpful for you. I hope you are able to learn one or two about countries that you were considering and I hope you now know the best countries you should apply to as a Nigerian. So very quickly we are going to go over all the countries that we listed. So we have UK, New Zealand, Cyprus, Turkey, Norway, Ireland, Finland, France, Netherlands and Dubai.